All right, so give everybody your call sign so uh, we can yes. record it. November 2, RPG. That's right. Frederick, and I'm from Rochester, New York. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. So what was the hardest challenge uh, the in The fox there? hunt, because I got to the page of the fox hunt at like, it was like 1130-ish. We didn't hear and, anything on the frequency. Yeah, and we couldn't hear anything on the frequency, and I, I did laps. Hey, welcome back, guys. So let me give you a little bit of context with this video so that you understand a bit more about what's going on. Josh, KI6NAZ, and myself ran the Hamvention Challenge for the second year in a row. Now, what this is, is it's a set of puzzles that the participants can work their way through. Uh, and they get progressively harder as you go through uh, the different puzzle pieces. At the end, though, the first one to record uh, that they have completed the challenge wins an ICOM 705. So the previous clip that you just saw and the upcoming clips or me talking to the guy that completed this challenge first and hearing a little bit about some of the struggles that he went through trying to get through the challenge. And then we'll wrap it up in the end with uh, the presentation of the 705 with myself and Josh and ICOM. So let's go ahead and uh, go through that and I'll probably interject one or two more times through the video to give you a little bit more context. I went down, I went through those, but but, back but, and but, forth and back but you and forth found and, a fox. So yeah, I found the I found the false fox. <laughs> and the thing is, I found the sticker, but I didn't see the fox. So it was like, I'm maybe there's something you have to do with like taking somebody here or something, mm -hmm. or maybe I need to locate the fox and bring it here, and then I'll get I don't know. Um, the website actually threw that red herring page, and I knew it was a red herring page right away. But it was like, if you type in the code from the red herring fox. It takes you to a web page where it's just a bunch of stuff and it's hyperlinks that loop in on itself. And it's like, this is <laughs> uh, this is absolutely a death trap for whoever finds this one. So. so we were a little bit devious when it came to placing the foxes this year. Yep, you heard that right. Foxes as in plural. We put the false fox in the exact same location that we put the winning fox last year because we thought someone might remember where we had placed that last year and go right to that location without doing any direction finding. And I'm going to show you exactly what he ran into here in just a second. I know these guys, it was actually a group of them that worked on this. The gentleman that won this year was actually at home last year helping his friends that were on location work their way through. This group came up second place this year, so it was really cool to see them win uh, the challenge this year. But let's take a look at exactly what he's talking about when he found that false fox. All right, so I have blown the text up to make it a little bit easier to see. Everything was designed to run on a mobile phone and look best there. But what he's referring to when he keyed in the URL uh, to uh, when he found the first fox, it gave him this page here. What this page is here is uh, roughly six or seven randomly generated links. And it doesn't matter which of these links you click on, it takes you to a new page of randomly generated links. So even if I click on this one, you're going to get six new ones. If I click on anything here, you're going to get six new ones again. So this was just our way of kind of gaming the system a little bit and preventing anyone from sneaking past or trying to go around the actual challenge itself and just going to look uh, in the spot where the winning fox was last year. Um, I dumped that pretty quickly, <laughs> and I ran into uh, I ran into um, him reading a crash course. I forget his call sign because I'm terrible with call signs. Um, I ran into him, and I, I just wanted to make sure I hadn't like flubbed up something or skipped a step. And uh, it was like it was no help at all, of course, because that's how how this has to go. Guys, oh. guys we can't help you through the yeah, challenge. Well, no, I, I know. mean, you have to I know, do but this. But I wanted right? to make sure that I didn't like break the website or something, <laughs> because I, I recall there being an issue with the website last year. I think. Or maybe it was the... No, there was no issues last year. Maybe it was my companions <laughs> 1,300 miles away. So, yeah. Last year, I was on the I was on the computer at home, 
talking to them on the phone while they were doing all yep. the recon, and I was doing all the. All the oh, recons. so you weren't here? Last I wasn't year. even here yeah, last year. Oh, I was in. I was in War Trace, Tennessee. This is your then. first ham venture. First ham venture. Yeah. Oh wow. Yep. And I, uh, I just, I've been cramming for my general, like, all weekend because it's like I'm gonna go do the general test. I'm gonna go do the general test, and it was like, well, if Saturday rolls around, and I can't find this thing, I may jump off to go do it. But I was in the heat of trying to find this fox, so I was like, I'll take my test when I get back home to my local <laughs> club. But I'm hoping to get my general soon and then go to crazy with this thing. Well, well that's not what we wanted to do. We uh, didn't no, want to no, discourage no. you from no, taking the general it's test. Been a so, blast. You, so you got to take it when you get I'm back gonna, home. I'm going to look. I even I actually had my POTA badge put general on there, so nope. I can't use it until <laughs> I've got it. So I'm getting it one way or another if I have to, like absorb sleep on oh, the book or something. That is definitely the last thing we wanted to do, but, but we are super glad you found it. All right, so, uh, well, okay, so beyond the fox, what was the next hardest one um, you ran into? Let's see here. The uh, So I caught myself with another red herring, is that when I got to the, I got to the red, the that one, I doubled back to make sure I didn't miss anything and stuff, and I watched the video, because Michael said it looked like it was different than the one that you know you had posted after the winner from last year so i went and watched it and then i sat there and, and it was all that skip code thing the one time pad code yep and i did i did the whole thing and i was like okay this might be maybe give me another hint or something towards this fox maybe it's not actually a fox or whatever so i just really the hardest part of this challenge was the red herrings okay um, everything else was like i was able to get through pretty quickly all right so what about mirrored dot mirrored, mirrored was easy like that was oh that was an easy one so the okay. url says mirrored <laughs> and then I'm looking at the numbers, and I, and I mean, that took me like maybe five or six minutes, but it was like, I'm looking at the numbers, I was like, this feels like booth numbers. So let's look at the booth numbers. We're looking at the booth numbers. He found one booth number out there in the, in the, uh, in the vendor's area, and um, it was like, well, there's, there's no way, there's no booth that starts with zero, but there are a bunch of booths that start with nine and eight. It's like, if you flip those over, that's the icon booth, and that's where we started. So it was like, and that's actually where the one-time code takes you is yes. it just skips over the starting two the yagi one and the uh, walter cronkite okay, okay now, mirror. now if you were to listen to josh in his video he said please avail yourself to all of the links yeah. down below there was another 20 second video that just gave you the answer you didn't need to do the one-time pad uh, of course <laughs> I, uh, this this was after I'd, I'd i'd been up and down and back and forth like maybe an hour i went back and then i went back to that so just to make sure I didn't miss anything, but. Yeah. All right, give us a second. I think we've got everybody here yeah. loyal. Can you uh, hold this, please? All right, yeah, watch that. No, 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 wait, wait a minute, before you give him that, I saw him standing outside our booth, and I'm like, are we going to have to call security? Oh, no. <laughs> because he was standing over there, and he was doing all of this, just back and forth pacing. Then he would disappear. Then he came back at least two other times. I mean, he's like I am. He's full grown. He's hard to miss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and then I then I knew. But then when I saw you guys hanging out, you go, he's right there. He's right. They were watching you the whole time. Oh, I know they were. They were. <laughs> I know they were. They were rolling on the floor. I know they were. And um, this was hilarious. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad I could be entertaining for everybody. <laughs> but was. But take a look at this though. Mm. That's yeah, going to make it worth it, 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 isn't it? Absolutely. So first of all, and, and I saw his POTA activator badge. So you get out and play a little bit. Well, you betcha I will. Yeah. So first of all, Ray, thank you for ICOM sponsoring this event again. We could not do it without your support. So you got to. Yeah, it, absolutely. It, no, definitely. Definitely. Thank you there. So, on uh, our behalf, <laughs> Look at him, he's like, a brand yes. new ICOM 705. Give me the toys. Give me the toys. <laughs> hey, I think you're going to owe your friends a steak dinner. Yes, absolutely. Or a case of beer. So, uh, I, I do want to give a quick <laughs> shout out to uh, Mike N2MAK. There he is back there. And uh, Michael, Whiskey 2 November Victor Papa. Those are my two best buddies. And, uh, yeah, he's been my friend forever. And we've been doing a lot of POTA and you know, ham radio in general. So um, this is one of the things I love about this hobby is just the people that you get in on it. And they're definitely going to, they're going to reap the rewards for sure. sure.